On the evening of July 24, 2013, tragedy struck near the Spanish city of Santiago de Compostela. What should have been a routine journey on one of Spain's most advanced trains ended in catastrophe. A high-speed Alvia train, service 04155 from Madrid to Ferrol, derailed at terrifying speed on a sharp curve just outside the city, killing 79 people and injuring over 140 more. It was one of the worst railway disasters in Spanish history and a painful reminder of the consequences when human error and systemic oversight collide. The train involved was part of the Renfe Class 730 fleet, a hybrid diesel-electric gauge-changing tilting train built by Talgo and Bombardier. These trains were a technical marvel, capable of running on both electrified and non-electrified lines and switching between standard and Iberian gauge tracks without stopping. The 730s featured Talgo's signature lightweight articulated coaches and a passive tilting system designed for improved speed and comfort through curves. But despite its technological strengths, the Class 730 was at the mercy of the systems managing its movement and of the person driving it. Just minutes before arriving at Santiago de Compostela, the train approached the notorious Agrandera curve near the suburb of Angrois. The speed limit there was 80 km per hour. The train entered the curve at approximately 179 km per hour, more than double the permitted speed. All 13 carriages derailed, several overturned. One caught fire. The devastation was immediate and appalling. At the controls was driver Francisco José Garzón Amo. He had over 30 years of experience, but in a devastating lapse, he was reportedly distracted, speaking on the phone to a Renfe colleague at the time. He realised too late that he had failed to slow the train in time and desperately tried to brake, but the curve was already upon him. Compounding the error was the lack of automatic train protection on this section of track. While Spain's modern AVE high-speed network used the European train control system, this part of the line used the older ASFA signalling system, which could alert but not intervene in overspeed situations. The more advanced ETCS system had been installed earlier on the line but was switched off just before Santiago, leaving the driver solely responsible for braking. The public outcry was immense. Why, people asked was such a dangerous curve not protected by automatic braking? Why were hybrid trains permitted to travel so quickly into a section where such a sharp reduction in speed was required? And why, in an era of high-tech rail travel, was the safety of hundreds still reliant on a single person's concentration? The Spanish government responded with sweeping safety upgrades. Belices were installed at dangerous curves across the network the use of ETCS was extended and driver protocols were reviewed to reduce the risk of distraction. The driver, along with a senior railway official, was eventually convicted of professional negligence in 2024 and sentenced to two and a half years in prison. Renfe's insurer was ordered to pay over 10 million euros in compensation. The Santiago de Compostela derailment left a deep scar on Spain's railways and on all who were affected by it, but it also forced a reckoning with safety systems, human error and the need for rigorous protections when speed and technology are involved. If you found this video informative, please like, share and subscribe for more deep dives into the engineering, history and human stories behind the world's greatest and sometimes most tragic railways. Thank you for watching.